Liturgical colors are those specific colors used for vestments and hangings within the context of Christian liturgy. The symbolism of violet, white, green, red, gold, black, rose and other colors may serve to underline moods appropriate to a season of the liturgical year or may highlight a special occasion. There is a distinction between the color of the vestments worn by the clergy and their choir dress, which with a few exceptions does not change with the liturgical seasons. Roman Catholic Church Current rubrics in the Roman Rite, as reformed by Pope Paul VI, the following colors are used. On more solemn days, i.e. festive, more precious, sacred vestments may be used, even if not of the color of the day. Such vestments may, for instance, be made from cloth of gold or cloth of silver. Moreover, the Conference of Bishops may determine and propose to the Apostolic See adaptations suited to the needs and culture of peoples. Ritual masses are celebrated in their proper color, in white, or in a festive color. Masses for various needs, on the other hand, are celebrated in the color proper to the day or the season or in violet if they bear a penitential character. Votive masses are celebrated in the color suited to the mass itself or even in the color proper to the day or the season. Topic. Regional and situational exceptions Topic. Some particular variations Blue, a color associated with the Virgin Mary, is permitted for the Feast of the Immaculate Conception in Spain and in some dioceses in Portugal, Mexico, and South America. In the Philippines, it is authorized for all feasts of the Virgin Mary, a practice followed in some other places without official warrant. There have also been uses of blue in place of violet for the season of Advent despite the fact that this practice is not authorized under liturgical law. White or cloth of gold was traditionally used for the novena from 16 to 24 December according to a Spanish custom abolished in that country in the 1950s, but still widely observed in the Philippines. White is also used for East Asian masses for the dead, as white is the traditional color of mourning in many of the region's cultures. Furthermore, if not enough vestments of the proper color are available particularly in concelebrations, white may be used for all concelebrants. Violet or black are often permitted on national holidays honoring military dead. For example in Canada, they are used on Remembrance Day. Gold or silver may be worn on more solemn occasions in the dioceses of the United States. Pre-1969 rubrics Topic. The Roman Missal, as revised by Pope John XXIII in 1962, was authorized for use as an extraordinary form of the Roman Rite by Pope Benedict XVI by the 2007 motu proprio entitled Summorum Pontificum. Pope John XXIII's revision of the Missal incorporated changes that he had made with his motu proprio rubricarum instructum of 29 July 1960. These changes went into effect on January 1, 1961. The following are the differences between its rules for liturgical colors and the later rules. Pope Pius X raised the rank of Sundays of ordinary time, so that on those that fell within octaves green was used instead of the color of the octave, as had previously been the rule. The rules on liturgical colors before the time of Pope Pius X were essentially those indicated in the edition of the Roman Missal that Pope Pius V promulgated in 1570, except for the addition of feasts not included in his Missal. The scheme of colors in his Missal reflected usage that had become fixed in Rome by the 12th century. Topic. Byzantine Rite Topic. The Byzantine Rite, which is used by all the member churches of the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Eastern Catholic Churches of Byzantine Rite, does not have a universal system of colors, with the service books of the Byzantine tradition only specifying light or dark vestments in the service books. In the Greek tradition, maroon or burgundy are common for solemn feast days, and a wide variety of colors are used at other times, the most common of which are gold and white. Slavic use churches and others influenced by Western traditions have adopted a cycle of liturgical colors. The particulars may change from place to place, but generally, the colors would be changed before Vespers on the eve of the day being commemorated. 
During great feasts, the color is changed before the Vespers service that begins the first day of a forefeast, and remains until the Apodosis final day of the afterfeast. Under Western influence, black is often used in the Slavic churches for funerals, weekdays of Great Lent, and Holy Week as a sign of penance and mourning, but in the second half of the 20th century, the ancient white became more common, as a sign of the hope of the resurrection. <laughs> Russian liturgical colors Topic. According to the Russian Orthodox Church's Nastal, Naya Niga Sviashcheno Sluzatelia, up to eight different liturgical colors may be used throughout the year. Exact usage of these colors varies, but the following are the most common uses. Topic. Coptic Rite Topic. The Coptic tradition, followed by the Coptic Orthodox Church and the Coptic Catholic Church, only uses white vestments, with gold and silver being considered variations of white. The only exception is during Passion Week when black is used. Nonetheless, trimmings of red, gold or blue may be found on some vestments. <laughs> Ethiopian Rite the liturgical tradition of Ethiopia, followed by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and the Ethiopian Catholic Church, embraces a wide variety of liturgical colors. In Eritrea, similar traditions are followed. Anglicanism <inaudible> 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 Most Anglican churches use the colors appointed in the Roman Rite, usually in its post-1969 form, with the exception of serum blue replacing violet for Advent, but some use the earlier form, with, for instance, black in place of red on Good Friday. Some churches use black at Masses for the dead, but more commonly white or purple is used. For historical reasons much of the worldwide Anglican Communion takes a noticeable lead from the practice of the Church of England. Since the 1980 Alternative Service book, liturgical colors have been recommended for seasons, with more detailed advice offered as part of the Common Worship series of liturgies, including colors for all Sundays and festivals printed in the core volume next to collects. The Church's published lectionary now makes detailed suggestions for liturgical color throughout the year, which corresponds almost exactly with the above table of Roman Rite post-1969 usage usage with five minor exceptions, and one more significant one. There is no reference in Anglican usage to masses of deceased popes and cardinals. No liturgical color at all is suggested for Holy Saturday the words, hangings removed, are printed. The recommendation of red for confirmation rites is extended also to ordination rites. Lenten array unbleached linen continues to be listed as an alternative option to purple during Lent. The option exists for using red instead of green during the kingdom season, the four last Sundays of the liturgical year, culminating in Christ the King, as is common as some Lutheran traditions. See below. Finally, and more significantly, the Church of England provision suggests white throughout the Sundays after Epiphany as a distinct Epiphany season, with ordinary time commencing the day after Candlemas. The Church of England suggested color scheme also indicates where gold vestments should be used in those churches that possess gold and white as distinct colors. The use of rose pink vestments, as in the Roman Rite table above, was mentioned as an option in early editions of common worship, and as a listed option in the annual published lectionary. However, later common worship publications have begun to refer to this practice as traditional, reflecting its resurgence. Topic: <laughs> Sarum Rite. Topic. The Sarum Rite was a medieval liturgical rite used in England before the Reformation which had a distinct set of liturgical colors. After the Anglo-Catholic revival of the 19th century, certain Church of England churches began adopting Sarum liturgical colors as an attempt to produce something that was an English expression of Catholicism rather than a Roman expression. One of the chief advocates behind this was Percy Dearmer. The exact colors used by the medieval Sarum rite are a matter of dispute, but colors adopted by contemporary churches claiming to use the Sarum scheme include in particular deep blue for Advent, which may be popularly referred to as Sarum blue, and unbleached linen for Lent. 
The Sarum Rite has never received official approval in the Church of England or in the Episcopal Church, but has influenced a number of cathedrals and parish churches. Other Protestants some Protestant churches, historically especially Methodists, and today many mainline Protestants, use a color scheme similar to those used by Anglicans and Catholics, although the practice is not universally followed. Many Protestant churches do not use liturgical colors at all. The United Methodist Church, prior to the early 1990s, used red solely for Pentecost, even including the Sundays after Pentecost Sunday, with the use of green being reserved for the season of Kingdom Tide, which usually lasted from late August, early September until Christ the King, the last Sunday in Kingdom Tide. Since the publication of the 1992 Book of Worship, the UMC has followed the Elka practice of wearing red only for Pentecost and Reformation Sundays and green for the rest of the Pentecost season. The Evangelical Lutheran Church in America Elka, uses the same color scheme as that of the Anglicans and their Scandinavian Lutheran counterparts, but with the use of gold only for the Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday services, with Holy Week using scarlet in place of crimson. Both the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod LCMS and the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod Wells, along with the United Methodist Church use a similar system, but with purple being the primary color for both Advent and Lent with blue being the alternate color for Advent only, and the use of gold in place of white for both Christmas and Easter in similar practice to the Catholic Church. In the wells, the use of red is also done during the period of end times, a period of the Church regarding the teachings of the Book of Revelation, culminating in the creation of the New Jerusalem corresponding to Christ the King in the Elka. In all three churches, including the Elka, red is also worn on the last Sunday of October, in celebration of the Reformation on October 31, when Martin Luther nailed the 95 Theses onto the door of Wittenberg Castle Church. The Presbyterian Church USA has sanctioned the use of liturgical colors and promoted their use in the 1993 Book of Common Worship although their use was also promoted in the Church's annual planning calendars beginning in the 1980s. Advent and Lent are periods of preparation and repentance and are represented by the color purple. The feasts of Christmas Day and Christmastide, Epiphany Sunday, Baptism of the Lord Sunday, Transfiguration Sunday, Easter Season, Trinity Sunday, and Christ the King Sunday are represented by white. Green is the color for periods of ordinary time. Red is for Pentecost Sunday, but may also be used for ordinations, church anniversaries, and memorial services for ordained clergy. Red or purple are appropriate for Palm Sunday. During Holy Week, the church may use purple or remain bare, although a few churches will use black for Good Friday. Similarly, the United Church of Christ includes indications of which liturgical color to use for each Sunday in its annual calendar. The general Western pattern is followed, with either purple or blue recommended for Advent. <laughs> Citations Topic. Sources Topic. Ordo Missa Celebrande et Divini Offici per Solvendi Secundum Calendarium Romanum Generale Pro Anno Liturgico 2005-2006, Libraria Editrice Vaticana, 2005 Topic. External links Topic. Christian symbols, crosses, paramount colors, and their meanings Trinity Lutheran Church, Billings, Montana Liturgical Colors, from Chuck Nose Church, a ministry of the General Board of Discipleship of the United Methodist Church Clergy Stoles and Their Colors A related video to the above, from Chuck Nose Church, a ministry of the General Board of Discipleship of the United Methodist Church Herberman, Charles, ed. 1913. Liturgical Colors. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. Protestant liturgical colors online Catholic calendar showing the liturgical colors for each day and feast.